You're telling me we got lots of fans in the Philippines? Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> you know, I'd like to go to the Philippines sometime. Uh, Gene just texted saying Paul is running a little behind. Right. That's so, fine. So um, I don't know what your your time looks like. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. And you suppose we can do whatever you want, and then when he gets here, you can finish up the camera however you want to do it. Or okay. Okay. Um, she didn't say how long he was running behind. She just said um, he leaves in a, uh, a in about an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what I just want to get from him is a. Uh, I wanted to greet his fans in the Philippines. Sure. You know, just just send, uh, video message to all personality. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah. Because I'm 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 very sick of talking about guitars. <laughs> He's never seen yeah. talking about guitars. <laughs> yeah. I was filming it yesterday, and and, and Paul walked by. <laughs> I got the. Where, uh, where'd you do it? Just a uh, gear fest. Sign at the oh, entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that that way I have the I have the nice backdrop. Okay. Very different sounding amps. They both sound great. Okay. Two different. Like this is definitely um, Marshall specific. Um, right. It's based off of Hendrix's one of Hendrix's personal Woodstock amps, uh, Celestian B type speaker. Okay. You know, um, but like the, these two amps, same speaker, different cabinet. Right. And again, you plug into them and it sounds like right. completely different. But if you want that edge of breakup tone, that really glassy. And this has a beautiful, even for 20 watts, has a beautiful, like, big round low. Right. Paul Reed Smith. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? Good. Uh, you're telling me we got lots of fans in the Philippines? Oh, yes, you do. do really? <laughs> that, well, I want to yeah. say hello to all of them and thank you. I that I never heard that before. That's great. Yeah, it's that, uh, and it's not just the the SE line. It's it's the whole gamut. Really? Yeah, custom custom 24s. I've also mm -hmm. seen uh, that limited edition with the uh, with the dragon on the top. Yeah. Something Street. I forget the name. That was a 33 West, it was a West Street guitar. West, yeah, there you go. You it's... made me dig into my memory banks, <laughs> and I did that pretty quick, but I, yeah. I, I came up with the right answer. Very cool. Welcome to America. <laughs> you know, I'd like to go to the Philippines sometime. Oh. I've been to Indonesia, but I've not been to the Philippines. I'd like to come. Oh, we should work it out. We should yeah. work it out. Um, mm -hmm. I work with uh, Guitar Pusher, one of your PRS dealers there, mm -hmm. and they just uh, got a, the latest uh, shipment of uh, customs and CEs, mm -hmm. and I got to check them out, and they're very, very nice. What's the food like in the Philippines? The food like in the Philippines, it's a mixture of uh, Malay, Spanish and Chinese, so there's there's uh, lots of stews, um, lots of fat, <laughs> the, all the tasty stuff, and it's all eaten with rice. Yeah, what's your I, favorite I, food? I like the way you say all the tasty stuff. <laughs> I, I thought that that was really good. I, I don't have a favorite food. Okay. I'm Italian by background, but um, 
I don't. I, I just like really good food. Yeah. And and there's only two or three foods I can't eat, but other than that, I can eat anything. Okay. And, and I just really adore good food. So the reason I ask is I'm going to Turkey this year with my wife. Okay. And supposedly the food is to die for. Mm -hmm. I just got back from Spain. The paellas were literally three and a half feet in diameter yeah. with black ink in the rice. And it was oh. to die for. Yeah. It was, I makes my mouth water just talking about it. <laughs> so, you know, if you come to our area, we're going to feed you crab cakes. And oh, okay. That's, that's awesome. our food. Yeah. And so we have, you know, the reason I ask is because it's the fundamental basis of some of the culture of a, of a country. And you're telling us. You're telling us that you know there our guitars are known in, in the Philippines, and well, why shouldn't I ask about the food? <laughs> I mean, it should be the first question. Tell me about the food. I mean, come on. It, so no, no allergies, no nothing, no restrictions. What are the three foods you can't eat? I can't eat really fishy anchovy type fish. It makes okay. me throw up. Okay. Really hard for me. I I adore. In fish, but when it gets too fishy, I can't, yeah, yeah. I, it, it literally my body doesn't deal with it. Right. I can't eat level five hot food. <laughs> okay. Level one makes my head into a swimming pool. Right. So, I, so I can't do that. Okay. After that, after watching my octopus teacher, I will never eat that again. Oh. You ever seen the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen. Turns out their brains are extended not just from the brain but in all their legs and so okay. there's this mo monstrous intelligence it's kind of hard for me to i don't i don't want to do that okay but, but in general uh, i won't eat whale or dolphin you know, yeah of I, course. I have a few yeah oh they tried to feed me bugs in in <laughs> hong kong and how was that i don't think i'm gonna do that. no no no, no. uh not my th I, look a shrimp is a water bug yeah okay i like water bugs well, it's i just don't eat land bugs it's tasty. Yeah, no, no, shrimps. So it's lobster. Yeah, That's yeah. A big ass water insect. I mean, that, it's in the same phylum as a roach. Did you know that? A shrimp is? Yeah, yeah. Exoskeleton, yeah. Yeah, the ro roaches of the sea. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the anchovy thing, um, that's probably from it being fermented. That's why it's really strong. But a lot of the seafood in the Philippines is very fresh. It's like, very fresh. like fresh off the boat. Like, yeah wild caught this sounds great so that that bring will it be... bring it on baby okay bring and, it on you have good coffee there we have very good coffee i say let's send let's talk a bag. Send me a bag. i will send you a oh bag my God, I'm a i have a bag at, i have a bag at home in the philip uh in in la yeah. i will send you a bag uh recently got into the coffee i do it pour over yeah. japanese style yeah, yeah, yeah. and i grind my own beans that's what we do every morning grind our own beans and yeah. we pour over i'm in the same department <laughs> awesome awesome okay so uh, let me tell you a fact. Um, the finer the grind, the better the coffee. Well, no, I, uh, Philippines is a, more of a dark roast. Yeah, so, but I'm talking about how fine you grind it. Oh, uh, medium coarse. Uh, we, we grind it powder. Powder? So that's for for uh, medium light roast, I think. Yeah. For for the dark roast, since it's already cooked, you don't want it to steep too long you for your hot water. You more coffee than I do. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. That's I, I nerd out on this thing. But uh, the... Another interesting of the Philippines is um, we were under Spanish rule for centuries, right? And there was a time where coffee crops in Latin America f uh, fell down. And there's a type of bean in the Philippines that grow only grows in a specific area. And it is called uh, Liberica. You can't find it anywhere else. And it doesn't grow anywhere else. I and want it a makes, bag. It makes for the best dark roast. Let's go. Yeah. Bring I'll, it on, baby. I'll send you one. Bring it on. I'll send you one. Yeah, and, and, and when you go to the Philippines, not if, when you go to the Philippines, um, I want to be there and I will take you around the coffee, coffee the stuff. The look in your eyes when you said <laughs> when was very piercing. <laughs> is, that, is that normal for you? No, well. I mean, you're a sweetheart, we'll, but I wouldn't want to cross you. Yeah, we'll, we'll. Don't get in a fight with somebody who doesn't care about the outcome. You will die. <laughs> you got to think about that comment for a while. You know, no, no, I, I know exactly what you mean, but uh, what I'm saying is we will make it happen. <laughs> but I'm not promising going yet. You you did what's called in sales an assumptive close. You said you're coming, and that was the end of that. And no, I'm it's, be it's with you. That's what you did. <laughs> Sorry, I okay. know sales. Okay. Okay. I haven't decided to go yet, but no matter what, I really honor that the guitars are loved there. Yeah. And, and look, my wife and I want to travel the rest the next ten years. So the chances of me showing up in your country are very high. Yeah. Well. 
let's put it this way. If you want to go, yeah. we'll make it happen. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> not what you said, <laughs> but fair enough. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Paul. Thanks thank for you for the quick talk. Too. And thank yeah, you. I look forward to uh, brewing coffee for you. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye.